morning cyclists. This is Rick. Today is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Start a bike ride at one minute after nine. I was hoping to get started before 9 a.m., but just couldn't get everything going together. Today, I'm riding my Cervella Caledonia bike. Before the ride, after my problem yesterday with the uh, power and cadence sensors not communicating with the Bolt computer, I forgot the power sensor, power meter, and then re-added it. We'll see if that helps any today. So far, it's working. <laughs> but I'm only two-tenths of a mile into the ride. Weather today, 77 degrees. Humidity, 74%. It's a few clouds. Wind is from the west at four miles an hour. Nice sunny day. Could it get up to the mid-80s? Maybe even get close to 90. Today's, today's route is going to be something new. Uh, earlier in the month, I said that one of the things I wanted to do was ride around Lake Houston. Well, today's the day. Last time I, or today's route is going to incorporate some or a lot of the route from the Humble Lions ride. Last time that ride happened was February of 2020 I've done that I did that ride I think six or seven times uh, prior to other than the humble lions ride back in 2015 I rode to Crosby several times or a bunch of times but today of course, the start's going to be different from the Humble Lions. And on the way back, I'm going to go or change to the uh, Timber Forest Railroad Overpass. So, I'm anticipating or thinking the ride's going to be over 50 miles. This will be the longest ride since uh, the ride I, on April 1st at the Zoom Educational Expedition in Alvin. Along with the new route, and because it's, I'm thinking it's going to be more than 50 miles, I'm using my new Camelback hydration pack instead of water bottle. This is the first time I've used it. I'm going to probably get, start getting more use because it's heating up to so get into summer. The start of the ride is different than, than I've done in quite a while. I didn't ride into or go north of North Park Drive. And I didn't think I needed to to add to the miles. Next time I do this ride, I'll have a better idea of what the distance is and then I can fine tune or tweak the, the streets that are included. Now we've got some vultures on the green belt here. I'm going to have to interrupt them. Whoa, hey, yo, ho, hey, whoa, ho. <laughs> I didn't want to be interrupted very much. To get to Crosby, I will be going on some roads that I use frequently. Part of the, uh, when I go to Ramsey Road and also when I do the Stroker Road route. So I'm going to go south 
to the Pascasita and then to FM 1960 and then east over the lake, Lake Houston. Bear Lake Lane and then over the Tascacita Road east to Ramsey Road. Then I'll take Ramsey Road into Crosby. I'll stay off of FM 2100 because in Crosby the traffic's pretty heavy. The goal is to get to the frontage road along US 90. And that'll take me. That's where I'll turn to the west. Go through Crosby and then to uh, on Old Beaumont Highway. And then Sheldon Road North. And a road that I can't remember the name of right at this second. To uh, Viaduct Road. That'll get me to Westlake Houston Parkway. Houston Parkway. And then to West, back to Westlake Houston Parkway. Just entered Kingwood Greens. Make a, a loop back to Westlake Houston Parkway. Typically, when I go this way, at about this point in the ride, I'm at nine miles because I didn't ride north of North Park. I'm at 4.4 miles. While I ate breakfast this morning, I watched a recap of the Astros game last night and then switched over to stage 11 of the Giro d'Italia when I paused it. I think they had about 65 kilometers to go. I'll watch the rest of it when I get back home. as well as the day two of the four days of Dunkirk, which I believe is actually six days long. There's a couple cyclists. I'm on uh, the Tasca Sea to Shores Drive. On my way to FM 1960. Riding east over Lake Houston. I'm on a Strava segment, but I'm not really contesting it because I want to save my legs for later. Ten miles. Nice and sunny. The wind is not too bad. Church parking lot on Fair Lake Lane. We've got four vehicles. I would say that it's cyclists in the area. We'll see if I run across them or if they come run across me. reached FM 2100. We're going to go across FM 2100, continue east on Old Atascacita Road until we get to Ramsey Road. Ramsey Road will head me to, head me towards Crosby. Probably have to resort or utilize my boat computer map as I get close to Crosby. 13.6 miles and it's 10 a.m. Average speed is 14.1 miles an hour. <coughs> Riding east on Old Atascacita Road. Stop sign ahead is Ramsey Road. I'll turn right. That'll take me 
pretty close to Crosby, if not all the way. Probably can't see it in the video, but there's a big passenger plane up in the air, headed towards Bush Intercontinental Airport to land. Here comes a couple cyclists. They might have been, might be attached to those cars that are in on Fair Lake. Hi. I'm riding south on Ramsey Road. Some pasture over there. I don't see any cows though today or cattle. Approaching intersection with Peters Road. I'm going to turn left. A little dog leg on Peters Road and then back to Ramsey Road. 17.7 miles. Time is 17 minutes after 10. Average speed's 14.3 miles an hour. Light wind helps. Plus, I didn't have to overcome a lot of slow side streets at the start of the ride. Approaching Stroker Road intersection. If I were riding the Stroker Road route or the Hare Cook route, I would turn right here. But that's not the route for today. So we stay on Ramsey Road. Riding, I guess what I'll call a rural road, which is Ramsey Road. Riding south. Headed to Crosby. Sometimes I wonder if these roads are... If there's a dog waiting to uh, chase me. So far, nothing. I think I heard one dog barking a while back. Comes another cyclist. I'm still on Ramsey Road. Field of yellow wildflowers. Zigzag and Ray. Ramsey Road. I'm remembering some of these roads when I rode the uh, Humble Lions ride many times. Still on Ramsey Road, riding south. Riding on Ramsey Road still, and here comes at least two cyclists, maybe more. Three. There's a pipe yard there. There, as you can hear the sound of the pipe. Going down the rack, here's a, I think it's a chemical plant in some shape or fashion.
and across the railroad tracks. Let's see here, what's it say? I don't see the name. Oh, out to the uh, oxide chemicals. New piece of equipment. I'm on, uh, I think it's Runnenberg. Riding east, this will take me to the US 90. Frontage Road, where I'll go to the right. Down to Cross, or into Crosby. On the frontage road beside US 90, riding southwest. Frontage Road, I'm still on the frontage road, beside US 59. See the traffic light for FM 2100 in the distance. It's a, a convoluted intersection. Getting through it. Fortunately, there's a traffic light there for good reason. 24.1 miles. Times 42 minutes after 10. Average speeds 14.6 miles an hour. Thanks to light wind. Frontage Road and FM 2100 intersect. I'm going to go straight through. in Crosby, headed to Sheldon. Made it through the intersection at FM 2100 without any, any difficulties. Fortunately, the traffic was light. This is the old Beaumont Highway. stay on this until I get to uh, Sheldon Road. I'm on the south side of the lake, so I'm making pretty good progress as far as circling Lake Houston. If I had to guess, I'd say this is about halfway, and I'm at 25.3 miles, so my Guesstimate of 50 miles might be better than I thought. Continuing on Old Beaumont Highway. Has a little shoulder. Little dots on the white line. Not too bad if you have to ride across them like that. Twenty six point one miles. Looks like a camp grounds with the high water from the rains recently. Some of the cabins, even though they're on stilts, are out in the water. There's some more over there, I guess. This is the San Jacinto River as it heads to the Gulf. Down there's US 90, I believe. This is River and Rail Drive. I'm still on Old Beaumont Highway. 
to the right. Used to be, maybe it's still there, I don't know, a paper mill. It's had several versions. Going up a slight incline for a couple miles, slowing me down some. 28.2 miles. Time is 10:59. Every speed's holding in there. 14.7 miles an hour. Riding southwest into a little bit of wind. It actually feels pretty good because it's cool. There's Sheldon Community Fire and Rescue. Traffic lights Sheldon Road. I'm going to turn right there. And I think that will stay on Sheldon until I get to Garrett. I believe Garrett is the road name that I, that I couldn't remember. 29.2 miles. Waiting to turn. Press the record button by mistake. Anyway, it's three minutes after 11. Average speed is 14.6 miles an hour. Continuing. Continuing north on Sheldon Road number of pipe yards, other industrial places. Just turned left onto uh, Garrett Road, riding west. Stay on Garrett Road till I get to Aqueduct Road. I get the aqueduct that'll pretty much complete right across the south side of Lake Houston then I'll begin the north riding up along the west side of Lake Houston Okay, here's Aqueduct Road, and turn right. This will take me to the entrance to Eisenhower Park, and then crossing the viaduct, or Aqueduct, I will get to the Dusen Park. Thirty two point three miles. I'm 16 minutes after 11. Average speed's 14.7 miles an hour. Last time I was here, this road's not the smoothest of roads. As evidence, a large pothole. Road maintenance, apparently, is not a high priority. To the left, behind the fence, is the aqueduct. Carries water from Lake Houston to the city of Houston Water Processing Plant.
nearing the end, well, I'm going to be turning left from Aqueduct, Aqueduct Road, go across the Aqueduct, do a short stretch on North Houston, Lake Houston Parkway. If I were to go straight there, that would take me to Eisenhower Park. Not going there. Going to Doosan. I gotta go by Doosan Park. Over the aqueduct. Road gets a little better. 33.6 miles. Time is 22 after 11. Average speed is 14.6 miles an hour. Yeah. Turn right at the stop sign. That'll be on Dusen Parkway, I believe. I'm on Dusen Parkway still. It's another cyclist. to the Dusen Park, I'm sorry, Dusen Parkway and Westlake Houston Parkway intersection where I'll be turning right. I'm going to take a break though at the Shell Station. 36.3 miles and it's 33 minutes after 11. Running beside Westlake Houston Parkway northbound. It's a busy, busy street, road. I'm gonna ride over here as far as this takes me, or if I get to uh, the street that I need to turn left on to go to Timber Forest. And right at this moment, I can't remember what the name of it is. It's Lake something or other. Right now, 36.5 miles. Well, I didn't get very far, <clears throat> so I'm going to move over to the to the road now. 36.6 miles. This is my street to turn left. Lakewood Pines. Unfortunately, there was some traffic coming, so I'm going to make this little side stop. And I just missed the traffic light. See if it changes for bicycles. <clears> Thirty seven point three miles, fifty four minutes after eleven. Average Lakewood Pines and Timber Forest. I'm gonna turn right over the mountain that goes over the railroad tracks up ahead. And I'm heading back north. Thirty-eight point two miles. Got some wind. <clears throat> I'm at the top of the railroad overpass on Timber Forest. That was hard work. I had to shift to the thirty-five fifteen gear. <clears throat> Greens Road, Cross Street. On this, so I'm riding on North on <laughs> Timber Forest. <clears throat> no boom, Balmoral Lagoon today. Not going that way. 38.8 miles. Crossing Eagle Springs Parkway. <clears throat> when I arrived to <clears throat> Balmoral Lagoon, I would have turned right. 40.3 miles. On my way to Will Clayton Parkway. Will Clayton Parkway. Nice fountains. Eagle Springs. Crossing over Atascacita Road. See if the light stays green long enough. Next up is FM 1960. 
41.4 miles. Riding east on Upper Lake Drive, headed to West Lake Houston Parkway. Go back across the river. 42.8 miles, it's 21 minutes after 12. Approaching West Lake Houston Parkway, we're going to go through the intersection and then through some side streets to get closer to the bridge headed north. 43.7 miles. 